¿sí? Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rika Lindy. So, for today's video, we will be having another vlog, of course. And this vlog is about my eyebrows. But before I start, as you may notice, I am wearing an unusual outfit. Because usually, I am just um, wearing something like t-shirts or long sleeves like that. It's a very simple one. So, I've decided... To upgrade myself in vlogging so for my next vlogs I hope I can do uh, something like this and because I don't have that much uh, clothes here in Macau so I cannot promise but I will try to do my best to upgrade myself in my vlogs and also I want to upgrade myself in other ways also because I will be turning 23 so I think it's time for me to upgrade myself or improve myself to become more adult like that because if you're just in 21 or 22 it's like you're a baby one but if you turn 23 it's something like you're gonna be in adult stage. And also, I wanna say excuse or sorry for those imperfections that you're gonna see in my body. It's here and here and also in my face. So now, let's start to the main reason why I do this vlog. So this is about my kilay, my eyebrows. Kilay is the term for eyebrows in the Philippines because I am a Filipina. And I am just using English language for the convenience of my foreigner viewers. And here are the two things that I am using in uh, shaving my eyebrows. By the way, as you can see on the title itself, this is just how I shave my eyebrows. Not how I do it or how I make it when I will go out. It's just how I shave it. So I am just using two items only but you can use another one which is the moisturizer or I don't know... If it's lotion or something like moisturizing cream to use here if you're gonna do a shave on your eyebrows but me I didn't use any of that because I just want to shave my eyebrows with these items but before I don't have this one yet but right now I have it before I think when I was on college I didn't use any of this because I haven't had it already before but right now i have it and this i usually change it i think one year more than one year when i am changing a shaver in my eyebrows because i am just shaving my eyebrows once a week before and then i change it into once in two weeks to make it more thicker and right now, it's been 3 weeks because I am uh, very busy and I don't have a solo time here in our room. So, it's just right now, it's been 3 weeks. So, I waited for another 1 week. So, right now, I will show you my eyebrows. It's not as thick as like what you can see on Lily Collins because I really, really do love her eyebrows. And now, you're gonna see my eyebrows. And we will just shave the excess because I just do uh, shaving the excess only, the excess part. Because I am not expert in uh, making a shape on eyebrows. And the first thing that, I'll, that I am doing always is I am using this one. And also... I want to say that before you shave your eyebrows, make sure that you already wash your face or you already took a bath because me, when I am doing a shave in my eyebrows, I always make sure that I already wash my face or I already take a bath because after this, you are not allowed to... Um, Six and a half hours later you are not allowed to wash your face again because if this one uh, after you shave it if this one becomes wet uh, 
this will be a bad thing because it will damage your eyesight so now we're just gonna use this spoolie to brush up our eyebrows it's very easy this one is not an original one that's why it's like this it's a very cheap one it's like 12 pesos in Shopee in the Philippines I just do like that and then right after that of course I will use this another item but this another item is going to be one year so maybe I need to change it already but maybe I'll change it next month so I'm just gonna use this and I always start in here just do like that clean now and right now here in this part see and still have excess here which is not good and right now it's a good one and then here in the top some girls are putting lotion or moisturizer in this part because they want to make it soft first before they do a shave on it but me i don't do that and here and also i shave this part to make it look more clean see it's a clean one now and you can do a brush up on it again if you want It's a very easy one and look at the other one it's uh, slightly messy because it has many excess so I will do it now I just take the excess in here so we'll start also in this part It's just the same as what I did on this part. Just make it clean. No other excess. And on this top part. part and you can use it again to brush it and see if it's already good or no
right now it's already okay so here's my tip if you want to have a thicker eyebrows like this so you don't need to put a pencil on it and do a drawing on it so what i am doing is i usually shave my eyebrows right after two weeks so it becomes more thicker after you shave it and also i will suggest for you to use a castor oil because before i used a castor oil because my one eyebrow uh, don't have hair on this part and i don't know why and i don't know what happened so i used a castor oil because i searched about it and it's a good one in our eyebrows and in our eyelashes but i already have a uh, long eyelashes but it's not enhanced right now because i am not using a mascara and also i am using mascara in my eyebrows when i am going out to make it more thicker and also before when i was in the philippines i purchased a castor oil like this it's from Lux Organics which is a famous brand now in the Philippines and I am trying to order uh, their products from Philippines or from other countries to here in Macau but it's expensive and I don't know if it will come really here because of this pandemic and this is a castor oil eyelash and brow growth serum if I'm not mistaken, this one is worth 99 pesos in Watsons. And at the back of it, for longer, thicker, and healthier eyelashes and brows. So this is not a sponsored. I just suggest for you to use it if you want a castor oil. And this one, it comes with this spoolie type so it's convenient for us to use it in our eyebrows and eyelashes so that's it for this video i hope you like this one and if you have any questions feel free to comment down below and i'll answer as us and i'll answer that as much as i am not busy and thank you for watching this video don't forget to click subscribe on my youtube channel and i'm gonna see you on my next video thank you for watching bye